What's up friends, we got a lot to cover today. It is technically part two to the uh, Toro 1028 video that you did not have to see that first part to enjoy today's video, though I will leave a link in the corner and down in the description. If you didn't see part one, here's what happened. We got a Toro 1028 snowblower, pretty big one, for 40 bucks because the engine was blown. We pulled that Briggs & Stratton uh, 14 and a half torque engine off. We dug into it, turns out it had a whole bunch of stuff internally wrong. Again, if you wanna see that, there's a link up in the corner and down in the description. If not, not, what we're doing today is replacing that motor uh, well uh, with a predator motor uh, not to give the secret away we looked into buying new parts they were too expensive without further ado here is that content who buddy buck I'll tell you what it's only been a few days but we had a break in the case long story short I was sourcing new parts from a couple different places online it was gonna be like 300 bucks to get the crank the uh, piston and the connecting rod. So Eric and I started looking for other options. And wouldn't you know, Eric and I stumbled on one of these units, but that's not even the best part. This particular unit came from the never been used and only dropped once shelf over at Harbor Freight. I mean, for a price like that, you really can't go wrong. What I'm gonna do right now is confirm that the bolt pattern will go on the deck of that blower and that the shaft will take the pulleys and everything will be in the right place. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, yes, it's kind of the easy way out, but hey man, this isn't strictly a hobby. This is a little bit of a business here. So $156 versus 300, and I get to keep the brakes for a later project, Pfft, no brainer. Might as well do a little bit of an unboxing. I've never bought a brand new Predator engine before. I took a quick glance in here. It looks like, for whatever reason, the box was open, but the motor didn't look like it had gotten, didn't look like anybody let her eat at all. Um, spark plug tool, that's cool, good to have. Uh, instruction manual, there's gonna be nothing of use in there. Uh, yeah, let's get this bad boy on the bench. Make sure everything lines up. So far, so good. Alrighty, the side-by-side -side says quite a lot. Um, they look very similar. This is very clearly a clone of this motor and the similar overhead valve uh, Honda units. Uh, got the same shaft size, got the same shaft length. So should, in theory, everything should line up. Just so, oh, we don't need the keyway because these pulleys are keyed, which is nice. Um, Oh, doesn't that look promising? Now what I really need to know is... All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's get it so that the mounting holes are right. Oh, they're slotted mounting holes. You know, I think we're gonna have to just put this thing on the deck and, and see if she lines up. Now, of course, we did as much due diligence as we could beforehand, but you never know how a pair of pants is gonna fit until you wear them around for a day. So let's, everything should line up. My only concern is the bolt pattern should work, but my concern is that maybe the pulley doesn't end up in exactly the right spot. Though, this motor was literally designed to replace that brace. Oh boy, this would be fun with a buddy. <laughs> That's definitive. Okay. Yeah, that uh, it doesn't look so right. So this is clearly too far out. Uh, everything is. I wonder if I can flip these around or something. Bear with me a minute. What I really need to do, matter of fact, yeah, I just need to move these back holes because these are slotted. And if it was this far back, everything would line up. Let me pull this motor off again. If I recall, there were two set of mounting holes on here. So other than that, the spacing looks okay. I mean, it should, it's the original pulleys. So let's play around with this and yep. See if we can't make it work. All right, we've got her tipped up on her front here. 
Let's see what it looks like inside. Maybe it's as simple as dr drilling the amateur hour. Drilling two holes in the deck. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh. We are currently invading on uh, some little critter's home. Sorry, buddy. I forgot to knock. There's a full-on nest in there. I guess it's chipmunk. Chipmunk-sized nest. So we can clean that out. wheels off for that. Oh no, this is the right one. Okay, let's see what we're up against here. Well, first of all, there's our little, uh, like I said, I'm thinking chipmunk, could be squirrel nest. Uh, but if you look up in there, all we're dealing with are studs. All right, so if I knock those studs out, I assume they're splined. And we just drill holes a little bit back. I think that's the way to go. Why make this any more difficult than she needs to be? Alrighty friends, here is the long and the short, and I'm going to tell you, this blower's been in the garage for a month now. I've been sporadically filming, and uh, it ends today. Got to get this thing figured out. So I pulled out these studs. This is what the engine mount studs. And we're going to just very simply drill holes about a half inch back. It may end up being slots, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Obviously, if we go the slot route, we'll have to replace the studs uh, just with regular hex bolts. Uh, so I'm going to drill those holes now. And hopefully we can get this Predator motor put on and get this whole thing buttoned up uh, and cash in on this payday and get it the heck out of my garage. clean up the threads on these uh, and then we'll pull them on down with the impact gun and uh, they're splined down there so they'll dig into the new metal I'm assuming the hole is supposed to be slightly larger than 5 16ths but uh, you got what you got 11 30 seconds perhaps alrighty buck we got some shiny new threads they're all cleaned up so they won't be fighting us uh, let me think so that's the general idea. Let's see if an impact gun will pull these right down in. I think uh, I have to get it started. I don't know if you can see the inside of the threads are all got the mud and the blood and the beer built up. Ow. I picked me finger. This would be easier at the bench, but yeah, that was actually quite a lot of goop to get out of there. Clean as a whistle ish. Clean ish as a whistle. Oh, take 47. Still? You're still fighting me. Golly. Alrighty, new plan. I guess we can do that. Crank that down, crank that down. Get that started on there. There we go. That should solve our problem. Back to the show. Get them 
nice and tight against it. Hopefully, we should probably start with the wrench, right? Before we go straight to uh, the big guns. Try to get them started. Got me some new wrenches. Some Huskies for the uh, shop. Yep. Had some, some Christmas money to the Home Depot. And they were having a sale. I keep my good wrenches in the Jeep. Ugh. And so the wrenches in the garage here are sort of just a hodgepodge of random uh, wrenches that I inherited from the grandfather that I found at the junkyard. So, got a nice new set for in here. That's about all I'm going to be able to do. That's seated. Oh, that's pretty darn good. Boogered up this paint just a bit, but I mean, something about cracking, breaking a few eggs, right? Still call that a W. We'll put a little fluid film under there. But the uh, next owner doesn't have a deck rotten out on him. It helps when you turn the right way. Life is hard, and harder if you're stupid. Just about, uh, just about there. Now, punched. Okay, let's get this deck down, get that Predator on, and see if we don't look a little bit more kosher now. Alrighty. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Thought that was gonna work. It didn't. <laughs> Who, buddy Buck? I will tell you what. It has been a journey with this thing. Uh, I don't know how much of this is gonna end up on the editing room floor, <laughs> but there have been a lot of iterations, a lot of mistakes made. But here is where we're at. I'm sure you saw me putting the Predator motor on there, and then argue with the belts for a good hour before I realized the Predator shaft is a inch taller off the deck. Uh, than the Briggs one was, so I had to get different belts. If you were doing this specific swap, the whatever this is, 105 cc Predator to replace a hundred or 305 to replace a 305 Briggs 1450 Snow Max on one of these Toro Power Maxes, these are the belts you're going to end up needing. They work well. Granted, we haven't tested it, but they they fit right. Uh, the um, What's this? This is the auger? No, this is the drive belt. We got them from Dayton from Granger. It's going to be an AX35. And the auger belt was an A43. Uh, and they seem to fit just nice. You can see that auger belt seems to line up. Here's where we're at. We have not uh, started this Predator motor. What Eric's going to do is put the belly pans back on and do a little bit of detailing on her. And then we're gonna roll this outside and do the first start on the Predator motor, put some oil in it and see if she don't chooch to life and we'll actually see if the belts uh, do what they ought to do. All right, this bad boy is almost all the way tightened down. We adjusted the drive wheel. Probably should have filmed that, didn't. I'll get you on the next one. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. We're going to, one of those was missing. Okay. So maybe that one, who knows. 
Uh, we're going to slam dance some oil in her, and then the next time you see us, we're going to be lighting up a Predator for the first time. I'm excited. I've never owned a new Predator engine. All right, friends, here we are. Still buttoned up, which was definitely premature. Should not have put all those uh, belt guards on until we knew everything was good, but whatever. We're going to flip her on. We're going to come over here, make sure the fuel's on. Fuel is now oh, on. Set her to start. Uh, she's all ramped up. No Got to be a primer bulb. I know I saw one. Only we weren't doing this in the dark, bud. <laughs> Get the flashlight out. I mean, for fork's sake. Filled with oil, by the way, takes one quart, if you were wondering. Boy, life is hard and harder for stupid, I tell you. What's going on here? <laughs> Maybe they don't think they need a primer bulb. Oh, are you saying you're just that good? Is that what you're saying? I think it's saying it's just that good. I don't see no primer bulb. All right, but here's what we're going to do. I'm going to set these kind folks over here. Christmas, who put a drive shaft there? <laughs> is that Ruby's? Yep. <laughs> no, that's, um, I don't know what it is. I was using it as a breaker bar extension. Okay. <laughs> um, you're going to crank her, and I'm going to be here real ready. Wait for the, uh, for the shutting downs of the, of the motor. Ready? Hold on. This is that uh, Predator motor. First start. Let's hope she don't uh, cough with the smoke out and go boom. Hit her, bud. That's not an impressive result. Burn it, burning off a little paint. That's no big deal. Well, there you go. I mean, we're gonna call that a dangled result. So here, here's the long and the short of it. I'm gonna tell you. This Toro Power Max 1028 OXC came to us for 40 bucks. They said motors done went popped. We we got nothing. We tried to find parts for the Briggs. It was gonna be about 300 bucks. We fell backwards into this uh, Predator motor. 305 it's called a direct replacement for the Briggs. It's pretty darn close bolt pattern was the same But as you saw we had to draw it out um, I didn't spend too much time on the belts because I was really frustrated and I had to do math and stuff So I kind of just wanted to be focusing on it, but uh, we got belts that were two inches longer give or take I, I put those part numbers there. I'll put them down below. I also had to make quarter inch spacers for each pulley uh, And then I loctited the pulleys. That's how they came locked item uh, the belts were 40 bucks or 50 bucks or like 45 bucks. We're $200 into this thing. But as you can see, this thing's a monster. 28 inch cut. Uh, you could probably run NASCAR with it. <laughs> the, <laughs> the way she takes off in six there. Uh, and we're hoping, I don't, like to, I don't like to talk money, you know, money, politics, or religion, things impolite to talk about, but we're hoping to at least double our investment. Uh, could have been bigger if we could have found some used parts of that Briggs. But that's about all there is to Buck, right? Yeah. That we're going to load her up on the trailer. Uh, I am the repair arm. Eric is the acquisitions, procurement, and sales. So uh, I did my part. Do your part. Yep. <laughs> She'll shame. be gone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, if you got any questions on this unit or if you're trying to swap one of these Predators, a lot of these power maxes are all the same. They got the 828, the 1028. Uh, I think this motor, as long as you're replacing the Briggs, this one, and I'll give you a part number for that as well, will probably do it. So if you got any questions, by all means, leave me a comment down in the squat boxes. Uh, let us know what you think. Of all the blowers, right? This whole channel, a whole channel, just blowers. We're going to do mowers uh, and, and other stuff at some point. Oh, man, I'm, just, I'm tired of talking. It's cold, right? Get you on the next.